Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we discuss everything finance related. In today's episode, we will be discussing a topic that a lot of us either avoid thinking about or get overwhelmed by, retirement planning. Yes, I said it, retirement planning. But don't fret. In the next 25 minutes, we will simplify it for you and break it down based on your age. That's right. We're making it as straightforward as possible so that it's easier for you to take action. So, whether you're a fresh graduate, a seasoned professional, or an individual nearing retirement, this video is for you. Part 1, Planning in Your 20s Let's start off with your 20s. Now, I know, I know, retirement is probably the last thing on your mind at this age. But here's a piece of wisdom, the earlier you start, the better off you'll be. Why? One word, compounding. In your 20s, your focus should be on two main areas, saving and investing. Start saving, the first step to retirement planning is to start saving. The golden rule here is to follow the 50-30-20 rule. That is, 50% of your income for necessities, 30% for wants and 20% for savings. Begin investing, investing at this age may seem daunting. But it's really all about making your money work for you. You can start small by investing in low-cost index funds or ETFs that track the broad market. Remember, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. Part 2, Planning in Your 30s Moving on to your 30s. This is when many of us start to have more financial responsibilities, like a family, a mortgage, or kids. But don't let these responsibilities sidetrack your retirement goals. 1. Increase your savings rate Try to increase your savings rate to at least 25% of your income. Make use of tools like automatic transfers to make saving easier. 2. Utilize employer-sponsored retirement plans. If your employer offers a 401k match, make sure you're contributing at least enough to get the full match. That's free money you don't want to leave on the table. 3. Start diversifying your portfolio. It's time to start diversifying your investments. Consider bonds, real estate, or even international funds. Part 3, Planning in your 40s and 50s. As we step into our 40s and 50s, retirement planning gets more serious. The finish line is coming into view, and it's time to ramp up the efforts. 1. Maximize your retirement contributions. You should aim to max out your contributions to retirement accounts. For a 401k, that's $19,500 a year as of 2021, and for an IRA, it's $6,000. 2. Review and rebalance your portfolio. It's time to review your investment portfolio and rebalance it as needed. Remember, your asset allocation should reflect your risk tolerance, which might be decreasing as you get closer to retirement. 3. Consider a financial advisor. If managing your finances gets overwhelming, don't hesitate to consult a financial advisor. They can provide personalized advice and help you navigate complex financial decisions. Part 4. Planning in your 60s and beyond. Now, if you're in your 60s or beyond, it's all about fine-tuning your retirement plan. 1. Understand your retirement expenses. It's crucial to have a clear picture of your retirement expenses. This includes everything from daily living expenses, medical expenses, to leisure activities. 2. Have a withdrawal strategy. Develop a withdrawal strategy for your retirement accounts. You'll need to decide when and how much to withdraw, while considering the tax implications. 3. Think about long-term care. Long-term care can be expensive, and it's often overlooked. It's worth considering a long-term care insurance policy or setting aside funds specifically for this purpose. Remember, everyone's financial situation and retirement goals are unique. These are just general guidelines. What's most important is that you start planning early and keep reviewing and adjusting your plan as you progress through different life stages. We hope you found this episode informative. If you did, Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more finance-related tips and advice. Until next time, remember, it's never too early or too late to start planning for your golden years. You've got this.